Hey guys, it's Gazza Montana here, the original demo disc player before they decided to give me an abbreviation when it was just killed. What it was called, I hope everyone's doing a right now. This video here is a buying guide on the new bail enforcement business that was added into Grand Theft Auto Online earlier on today. We're going to go over the best location to purchase and just how to get set up with this new business. Now when you get onto Grand Theft Auto Online, wait for Mal to ring you. She's going to ring you, introduce herself, and then also introduce you to a new business opportunity that you can purchase on Maze Bank Foreclosure website. Now, there is five different locations you can choose from when purchasing a bail enforcement office. Four of them being in the city, and one of them being out of the city, which is the cheapest one. So you definitely want to purchase one of the ones that are in the city. Do not purchase the one that is out of the city, which is at the very top of the map in Palito Bay, which is $1.6 million. Now, the most expensive one is $2.6 million. I recommend purchasing not the most expensive one, which is Vinewood, the second most expensive one, which is in Mission Row, which is the one from the trailer. The reason why you want to purchase this one is because it does have a perk. It is right next to a personal aircraft spawn, which is on the doorstep of the Mission Row location. So when you're doing the blue bounties, we'll explain what those are in a bit. You can spawn in the Raiju or some sort of aerial vehicle, personal aerial vehicle, and just fly towards whatever location that is. Now, when you purchase the most expensive location in Vinewood, you simply don't have that option. Your personal aircrafts spawn quite a bit away from you. So the Mission Row location set us back $2.4 million, basically $2 million, $390,000. Now we're going to go over the upgrades of the business. Style doesn't really matter. Keep it as the base style. Then later on, if you want to change it, so you can actually then see the difference, go ahead and then upgrade it. It's only going to cost you an extra 100 and something thousand, like 145,000 uh, to get the most expensive interior looking. So just go with the base at first, so you can actually see what it looked like before you upgrade it. Now, going on to the second upgrade, which is agents. These are very good, by the way, guys. These are just like buying. The staff inside of either your auto shop or your scrapyard. Only these are even better than both of those because you don't have to do anything. You don't have to tow a car to then scrap it. You don't have to customize a car to then give the keys to the staff member to then go and deliver the car like with the auto shop. You just simply have to go up to them and press right on the D-pad and they're going to go off, get a bounty, come back and then later on you are going to be notified that you've got some money for it. These are a no-brainer you buy these because you will get that money back eventually and then from then on out would always be in profit right now these are 50 percent off with gta must so on a normal day these will be 1.5 million dollars to buy both of them so 750 thousand dollars each but right now because it's 50 percent off they are 375 thousand each totaling seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars for both of them I highly recommend buying those two. They are actually the best thing I like about this business. I can always get money out of this business, even if I don't want to play it. Now, the next completely optional upgrade you can buy is the personal quarters for $295,000. This is going to give you a spawning location at the business, so you can spawn straight inside it. But if you've got a business or an apartment just around the corner or next door, that way when you're switching sessions, you just have to go around the corner to get to your bail enforcement office. So if you're short on money, you can skip this purchase. But it is a good one because it's right next to the computer, right next to the safe, right next to the two agents. So I do like having the spawn point inside the bail enforcement office. Now the next option here is complete and utterly optional as well as the gun locker. It's no different to the gun locker that is in your agency, your bunker, your CEO office. It lets you custom your loadout so you can hide certain weapons to so scroll through them a lot easier. If you've already got one of these, you can skip this if you are trying to not burn too much of a hole in your sky rocket here. Now the total cost for myself with the GTA Plus benefits included is $3,735,000. If you don't have the GTA Plus benefits, you're getting both of the staff members and plus everything else that they possibly has to offer. It's going to cost you around $4.5 million. So not bad for a upgrade of pretty much the most expensive location. If you go for the most expensive location, you're going to add another 200 grand on top of that. So yeah, man, it's, 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 it's your average price. It's, a, it's what we predicted, guys. Inside the main office of the bail enforcement business here, your office, you've got a nice handy bowl of snacks. You've got your gun locker in the corner there. You've got your sleeping quarters with your wardrobe. 
You've got the safe where you collect your bail money from. Now, just in front of your office, this big area here, you've got Jeanette that just sits down shouting at the bounties that you bring in, which the bounties that you bring in stay inside this cell here. Uh, you also got some security cameras in here. You've got a couple of agents, the guys that we talked about, which you just walk up to them and send them off. And they're going to bring you some money in to your bail enforcement safe. Now, if we exit the door of that big area, we have got an exit door to the streets. Or oh, we can go down the stairs to our garage where we can keep two personal vehicles. It's also where we house our bail enforcement transport van, where we can transport our criminals alive back to our bail enforcement business. So yeah, the more money you're actually going to be getting by not wasting these guys and bringing them in alive. Now, the main meat and potatoes of this business is your computer in your office where you can see all the bounties and pick which ones you want to do. There's two types of bounties you can do, and these are red bounties and blue bounties. The blue bounties and the red bounties, the difference between them is the blue bounties, you can do them in a free mode session. They pay out less money than the red bounties, but you can do them in a free mode session with a MC of up to eight people if you want to. Or you can do them with a, a CEO of four people or could do them completely solo. You can do them all day long because there is no restrictions. There is a little bit of a cool down but no uh, massive restrictions. With the red bounties that pay out more money, there's only going to be one on the computer per day that you could do. So that is a massive downside. They pay out the most money and you can only do one every 24 hours. Apparently there's only six of them in the game, total completely different missions. Uh, these missions take place as contact missions in completely different lobbies. You can invite up to three friends of four players max. And um, yeah, that's pretty much how the business works. Little buying guide, best location. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the notification button so you don't miss any more GTA videos like this one. Have a lovely day. Godspeed. See you in the next one. And peace out.